welcome back. So I just finished my break. Uh, we're going to see if I can win this thing. Because apparently people are still dropping out. And I'm only 40 points away from one of the top 100 spots. So given how little time remains, you know, maybe this is something worth trying. If I can cross 150 in the next hour, um, then this might be something seriously worth considering. Uh, oh wow, that mouse. That mouse. It's only going to get better. Um, so I stopped white from castling, right? Um, oh, I had bishop g4. See, now he's got knight a4, and it's no fun. Um... Alright, he's threatening bishop g5, but I can rebuff that with h6 and g5. Um, if he doesn't do bishop g5, he's just hosed. Uh, I think. Alright, show me what you got. Interesting. So he's threatening to threaten something. Um, I don't know that I'm too concerned about that. When I'm actually making some threats to implode the center and um, exposes king. Uh, that looks like a free knight. Let's take it. His queen can't assist on the king's side because um, I've got way too many things going on over there. G6 is worth a try. Um, but I don't think it satisfies um, White's needs. So here I am threatening knight f3 check. Uh, if he does something ridiculous, I don't know what I, how I respond. But I'm also threatening knight takes bishop. Um, so I've got like knight f3, knight takes bishop, and so forth. Um, Alright, so I see he's threatening taking on f7. I can't stop that. But my position's still decent. Check. I have to recapture. Um, I'm up a bishop. If he takes an f7, I've got two minors for um, a rook Check. and pawn. Which is decent. You can certainly work with this. All right, so not sure what's going on here. He's threatening to threaten stuff again, but I want this square. All right, that square is mine. If he moves the queen to d2 to castle, I just take on g4. If he moves the queen to e2 to castle, well, that's not castling because uh, he still has to deal with me attacking c1. Um, I think he just overlooked that c1's attacked. I don't think there's anything deeper to this. 
Um, all right, we take the open file. Um, I know he's going to contest that open file, but we're going we're gonna to take it first. All right, some threatening pawn takes pawn. Um, oh, I still have this like doubly taken care of. He has to deal with both uh, pieces I have attacking that. I've got quite the wall here. All right, so uh, I'll just sidestep the rook. If he goes rook f1, I guess I have to take e4, which is still good. Because then I'm winning even more material. Um, but no, this wins the most yeah. material, so why exchange queens when you can win a queen? Yeah, taking a break was certainly a good thing. Physically, psychologically, and so forth. I didn't know that I'd come back in time for um, part of the rest of the marathon. Yeah. But... Ready. Yeah, we'll see how far we can get. Stalux. That's quite a name. All right, classical defense. Oh, all right. Um, we'll break the pin. Bishop B six is book. Um. I don't remember if h6 is book or not, so I'm playing h6. It might be a wasted move. Things like this are why it's more fun to play games online than in real um, multi-hour tournaments. Um, where you have like one hour per game. Yeah, you get a lot of opportunity to think, but no amount of thinking is going to tell you whether or not h6 was necessary. Okay. So, I guess I go back. Uh... I guess I'm controlling both squares. I was going to say that e5 is under uh, my control. But it's true that I'm also controlling f5. Don't know that that's relevant here, but uh, it's good to know, I guess. Um, man, since I can't move my knight to d7, I'm looking at all the places I can move the knight. Um, Hmm, not very many places. Alright, let's try this. This is definitely adventurous. After g4, I've got queen h4. He takes my knight, I take h3. Um, I'm attacking the rook, so I'm giving up two pieces for a rook um, and a pawn. Okay, let's also take the b5 square. Just so I don't get my bishop trapped. I guess this is giving up a tempo needlessly. Queen h4 directly would have been stronger. Um, all right. Uh, queen h4 itself is not too strong because this knight just kicks me. However, uh, queen f6 is actually hard to meet um, because he can't get his knight to either of these squares. The usual counter to a move like this would be just bring the knight out and kick the queen. But there's no such move here. Um... Alright, 
Yeah, let's exchange. And I don't know. Just on a lark, we're going to pursue this as far as it goes. Um, so if the knight moves, exposing an attack, I can move my bishop, uh, exposing a defense. Uh, also, I'm, well, vaguely threatening f5. Not really. But we'll try to keep building up to some kind of kingside advance. Um, okay, so this is really distant to all of his pieces, so I can... Oh, but also this opens up queen d8, which is kind of nice. Um, hmm... Not that I even want to do that. I actually prefer this. Um, okay. Um, I think I'm barely holding everything together here. It's quite the balancing act. Note that my rook is pinned, so... The rook isn't going to be taking things. Oh, he's got knight takes. Um, because I can't take on e2. Right. Okay, I saw that. I saw that too late, but I saw that. Um... All right, we've pinned the knight. This is one of the more dubious pins you'll ever see, um, but it's a pin. All right, um, let's bring in reinforcements to hit the knight. Mostly because I'm threatening rook takes knight at this stage, and the only piece that could recapture would be this knight on c3. Um, I think he just moves the king, and I have to do knight takes, and my knight gets pinned. But it's complicated. Uh, that's free. That's the one thing that doesn't work here. Wow, what a tactic! What a show. Alright, so... Um, I guess we take the queen, he takes the rook. Check. Get the heck out of here. So I'm threatening b3 with tempo. And that's a pawn. And that's a pawn. Um. Okay, let's just start running. And see how far we get. Victory. Victory. Nice! We'll take it. Oh man, I can hear my computer heating up over there. That's not normal. It's just excited by these games. Lance is still at it. I still don't understand what Lance's motivation is. He's a Lee Chess Master. I think he leverages that to become a coach for many players and help them improve to pl and play better, but I don't know why he doesn't seek like a national title, um, which would seem to make a lot of sense for somebody 
Unless, uh, I don't know, maybe he's just really exceptional at blitz chess and struggles with just normal chess or tournaments. I don't know. Maybe he just finds these events really fun. Which, I mean, somebody's got to be having fun, right? Why not him? Why shouldn't he have fun? All right, let's take that. Um, not threatening to win anything right away. Oh, he's got knight a5. Or knight a4. Um, if he plays that, I guess I have to run back. He doesn't. He selects something else. Um, and so we push onward. Um... All right, backward we go. Um, oh, he just prefers online play. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, we certainly welcome him here, so... Um, if he, that's what he's most comfortable with, I guess um, we're going to certainly accommodate that sort of preference because we want to see good players here. Uh, let's see. But that's kind of a self-interested decision on our part. I don't know what makes the most sense for his particular situation, but... Um, um, but yeah, if some website's going to have him, might as well be us. So, King H1's coming. I'm aware that he's building pressure over here, um, but my best way to counter it is to mostly stay put. Because <sighs> this is a really hard fortress to break. If the knight moves, then I might have possibilities of taking on e5. Well, I, I think... It's certainly easier to do book sales and such um, when you have your name recognized by a larger community. Um, calling yourself a Lee Chess Master probably gets you as far as calling yourself a Pokemon Master, but... Um, some circles will recognize that, but many won't. Um. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, I'm a bit confused as to what's going to happen next here. Oh, he's threatening knight f4. Okay, well that's met. What's the next threat? Yeah, this is particularly hard to crack because this bishop can't go through his pawns. Um, so he's got to work with what he's got here. Um, I'm still not seeing what he's threatening. So onward we push. And so, um, I still, I mean, okay, is Rook takes G2 his idea? Because I can counter that with G3.
And so everything's still covered. So what's his idea? Is it knight takes g3? It seems like he's running out of um, possible attacks. Um, I'm tempted to push a6 and b7. I think the position does call for it, because I need to decoy this rook. Alright. Um, decoy not successful, so we're just going to start mucking things up over here. Um, what a mess. All right, here we go. Um, Oops, well, I'm giving up an exchange here. Check. So rook takes queen, uh, knight takes rook. My peace placement is still quite good. If rook takes f1, I promote. If some other move, then I'm threatening like rook c2 and rook c8 uh, winning a rook. Um, so he's got to come up with something. Onus is definitely on black to find a move. Check. What a mess. Um, mm, I don't think I found anything that works. Oh wait, no, I rook takes pawn, rook takes rook is check. Uh, so I can take this. Check. 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 Have to be careful. Check. Knight f6, I suppose. Check. Check. All right, I've got something that looks like a fortress. Uh, I should be pushing for an advantage here. <sighs> Which means I need to munch all the pawns. Um, it's a question of can I munch all the pawns fast enough. Ay, ay, ay. Check. 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 What a mess. Check. 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 
check. check. Yeah, I walked it. No, that's not mate in one. Check. That's a free queen. Check. 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 Sure looked like mate in one. Uh, Check. Could have fooled me. Check. 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 Whew. Check. Holy moly. That was a difficult 1900. Sorry if I blew out anybody's ears. I apologize for that. That was a marathon in itself. That was a 1900. I'm telling you, these guys fight tooth and nail over every point in the last couple hours of an event. Um... So, Ready. so yeah, here we got a another 1900 who's sure to come up with some other nonsense, like the Nimzovich. Who plays a Nimzovich? Not me, but you play this sort of thing to get your opponent out of book. Um, this opening is not thought to be one that offers much advantage to black, but it does create imbalances. Um, uh, okay. It's a castle. If g5, I just take f6. If he takes e5, I do knight takes. Not sure what else he's intending here. Um, okay, this stops me from playing bishop f4. So we'll intend to move the rook to d1 instead. Um, My, what an unorthodox development scheme. Oh look, I, I'm probably hanging something in some really obtuse way. Um, um, Alright, let's take one of those, and one of those, and just believe in the heart of the cards. Um, uh, seriously, this looks pretty nice. I've got all my pieces developed more or less exactly where I want them. Um, and it didn't cost me an arm and a leg, so... Um, so c6 is hanging. Um, okay, well that's a good move. Um, oh, I missed bishop takes. But then I get rook a b1. Um, so it's not like I've destroyed my position or anything. Um, if the knight on c6 ever moves, I have queen a7. If this ever opens up, well, it's not going to now. Um, so yeah, let's just keep trying to break through over here. If f4, I might just play knight d2 and say I'm going to take your bishop, and I'm going to take again, and I'm going to take c6, and call that a day. Um, but maybe I put in bishop d2, bishop e1 first. Alright, so he's saying none of that. 
I suppose I did weaken my presence on the A file by moving over. Uh, I could always move back. Moving back looks pretty reasonable. Oh, once this knight moves, he could actually play c6. Um, well, I don't like that knight. So, let's see what I can do. If c6, I guess pawn takes, pawn is reasonable, gets the b7 square, opens the b file. Um, what more could you want? Oh, now I have a choice of two ways to take the pawn. Oh man. It's like jackpot. Uh, so I'm down a rook. Let's not forget that. But this looks really good. Um, so I'm threatening queen a8 mate. If the queen moves somewhere ridiculous, I've got queen b7 mate. Um, I think he's got to take my pawn. Uh, wait, I've got queen b6 check. Queen a8 is not mate, by the way. Word of order. Let's see, all it does is forces king c7 and mate in one there. Um, but yeah, queen a8 is not mate, so don't worry about that. Oh, never mind. Ready. All right, so EGN fan club. Can't say I know what EGN is. I've heard a number of three-letter acronyms in my day, but that's not one of them I recognize. E5. Well, that's not E5. All right, do I play D5 here? I am so lost. Um. Does this transpose to something? My god, I hope so. Or I might be screwed. So I think bishop b5, knight e4. Yeah, we're back inside, like, the two knights defense. Um, and then if bishop takes, b takes. And here, I've messed up a previous game. My biggest threat here is actually rook b8, and um, just activating the rook. I should not exchange my bishop. Also, I can just go back here. Um, let's see, how does the rest of this go? Like this, I think. I think this is all still reasonable. It's threatening bishop e3. Um, although he can't really, well no, now he can play that because the queen defends b2. Man, he knows what he's doing. Um, that's not good. Because that makes one of us. Alright, so I think I have to take this. And then hold on like so. Alright, he has to play this, otherwise I can take d4. But now I can, um, grovel? I think this is okay. If I can get an f6, it's a lot better. Uh, I can't get an f6. Um, oops, now he does queen g4. Or that. Yeah, that's the flashier way to do it. Uh, okay. Oh, now he does bishop takes g7, and then queen h5 is coming. Uh, this is no good. Is this just lost? 
I think I just got booked. Alright, so... Yeah, let's concede that. A perfect game. A perfect game. Well, he spent some time thinking about this. Um, no, I think he just knew what he was doing. I think there was at least one inaccuracy somewhere in this entire game. Yeah, there's a mistake right there. Uh, he's better here, but bishop h6 is not the cleanest way to convert. That was impressive. That's what happens when you know an opening inside and out. I'm stunned that a player at that rating would perform so well, but, you know, uh, I can't be too surprised, I guess. Uh, players who um, don't know what they're doing would have dropped out by now. What stuns me, though, is that the rating is still so low. Um, it seems like that rating is going to be adjusted at some point when he wins a few more games. Um, So knight e4 is his big idea, because I walked into a fork, more or less. Um, that's another big idea. Jeez. Okay, so I'm getting my butt kicked. Um, in a rather interesting way. Alright, let's castle, get out of here, and see exactly... Um, how I'm doomed. Like queen e4, right? I couldn't break this pin. Oh, he's letting me out of the pin, which means I'm probably going somewhere far worse. Um, Bishop d3, I have knight f4, but there's no way he's doing that. I think I just caught him off guard with this move, um, or he's trying to figure out the best way to dispose of me. Either way, I've got him thinking. Um, I don't have any tricks here. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll get out of that discovery, uh, make use of this not-so-subtle pin. And I'm sure he's, like, I saw he's trying to trap my queen or something, but he has no knight move to attack my queen. So we'll just do this to activate my other rook. Um, okay, that guards c2. I've got nothing here. This is amazing. Alright, so we'll take the e-file. And then go back and take the d file. If knight takes, the bishop is still defending d8, so I could do rook takes here without hanging a rook. Um, yeah, I think this is too direct. Yeah, I do have to give up the bishop here, but I get something out of this. Well, 
Oops, now that just loses on the spot. Yeah. Alright, that's for the best, though. Um, that drops a knight on e7. But, yeah, my position was pretty pathetic anyway. I've played against um, experts and better in just blitz games, and you will get crushed and ground down exactly like that. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, which most players don't. If you have familiarity with lots and lots of different openings, you have the ability to grind down your opponents like that, but it's not easy. It comes with an incredible uh, amount of experience. I guess players myself included tend to gravitate toward what's comfortable and what's the known and um, don't necessarily press themselves to learn every opening system and every subsystem and so forth and um, such there's a lot of middle games I still have to learn and there's quite a few middle games where I just simply get outplayed and have no idea what happened. Um, so here I'm hitting e6. I think he's going to do queen d6, I take c6, he does pawn takes, I do knight e5. Because I don't see any other way forward. If queen takes, I still do knight e5 or bishop f4. So queen take seems ill-advised, but it does keep the pawns intact. But yeah, pawn takes um, helps support a pretty strong pawn center. Um, either way, I get my knight on e5, so this bishop's not going too far, too fast. Um, so we'll just anchor that further. Okay. Um, let's put our knights even closer to the opponent's position. If he moves the knight, I've got queen h5. So he's kind of got to let my pieces just sit where they're sitting. All right, and let's bring up a hollow threat. Um, like I was saying, I have queen h5 if he panics. That was, yeah. I inspired that move. Um, it was a very natural reaction to bishop f4. So what the game I'm playing has not so much to do with chess and a lot more Ready. to do with just having fun with an opponent playing a game. And when some opponents come to actually play chess, then that's kind of my demise here. Um, hmm, let's play c3 and d4. Uh, he could play, yeah, he could play the knight there. If I play d4, takes, takes, knight takes, no, I'm okay. I haven't lost anything with this yet. Just my pride. Um, so he's got bishop g4 to try to complicate things. He doesn't even need it. I don't want to see bishop g4 though. Um, all right, I do like my bishop. Certainly a nice bishop. So let's hold on to it. Um, okay, so if I'm going to hold my pawn, I have to play this. No, I don't. I can't count. <laughs> Why am I playing if I can't count? Uh, that was an unnecessary move. It's going to cause me much suffering for the next 35 moves, but um, 
On the other hand, I don't think he wants to take that. Which is why I played it instantly. If I thought he was actually going to take e3, um, I would have hesitated a lot more before playing that. See, now it was necessary for me to bring up more pieces to defend. Earlier, that was not necessary. That's the difference counting has. Okay. Let's keep the queen out of striking range of the knights. Oh. Did I seriously miscalculate this? I suppose so. If he took that, I must be losing material here somehow. Um. I thought I was covered. Okay. Well. That's a learning experience, isn't it? Um. Super speed has got me on the ropes. Check. Okay, maybe I can at least extract some kind of concession here. I'm not even sure what I'm trying to get. I was seeing knight g4 and thinking that um, he would trade his bishop for my knight. Um, is this the best way for me to go about such a maneuver? Oh! Oh, I did not see that. Um, jeez. How did he spot that? That's quite good. Well, so I'm losing another pawn. My position deteriorates rapidly. Suppose if he takes that, I can just concede this. Yeah, this is. There's nothing for. White can't win that. And a draw and a loss are worth the same, so we're just going to concede and try to score points against somebody else. Yeah, I need wins. Without wins, I can't make it into the top 100. But. Given that I keep getting paired with like 2200 rated players, Ready. and I'm not myself 2100, um, it's looking like this is too strong a field for me. And I would have had to commit to playing the entire day uh, just to have a serious chance at a trophy. Um, d5? Okay, no d5. We got a full fledged King's Indian, Mar del Plata. F3. Oh no, F3. That's weird. Uh, okay, we'll take that. So, maybe my opponent knows. I mean, he's 2358. You might know a thing or two that I don't um, about this particular variation. Okay. I think I can just play this here. We'll know shortly. Uh, if knight G. Oh, okay. I was looking at knight D6. I know I said G, but I was thinking about knight D. Um. Oh, it looks like this wasn't playable. Good to know. Good to know that one of my tournament openings is completely busted. Uh, better that I learn here than I learn in an actual tournament. You lose. Alright, so what happened? Was I not supposed to take e4? Um, 
So, yeah, this is a way I could save myself like a hundred bucks or something in some tournaments, is if I learn this stuff in advance. Um, what happened here? G5 lost on the spot, but uh, F3. Best move is C6. Okay, C6, Knight D2, CD5, CD5, Knight F5. So, what about this weakness? Like, I don't believe this. Oh, d4 is loose. Um, I still don't believe this, but white's got holes on e3 and d4, which is really atypical for this opening. Um, that's really weird. So... Bishop f5, saying it's okay to give up the dark squared bishop here, or at least offer it up. Um, that's something I'd hesitate to do, because you could do this. I could answer this way. I guess I get a lot of play here. It's just really weird to see so much looseness in this position, but white is underdeveloped. Uh, so yeah. But by the time I'd noticed my mistake, it would have been quite the struggle to come up with something else. Ready. Alright, so after losing two in a row, I get a sympathetic pairing. And by that I mean somebody who's, um, oh, they're actually scoring better than me in the tournament, so... Not too sympathetic. Ah, see, I remembered to play knight f3 uh, with a3 this time. If you saw uh, my earlier performance today, I forgot a move and it was catastrophic. Um, here I remembered not to hang my everything. Alright, so a5. See, I think the book move is knight a5, and I think a5 is answered by b5. And the point is, um, this knight is off sides. And yes, black can play bishop b4, but I've got knight bd2, and white's okay. Uh, because there's no way to pick up this pawn. Now I can start uh, threatening stuff. Um, I don't know the line this far though. But I think I'm okay. I don't think there's any reason to panic. So let's just play reasonable moves and watch as my position just explodes. Um, because I don't know the moves. Get your popcorn. Uh, this is going to be a learning experience. Alright, so I protect everything. I'm attacking this knight on f5. Knight c5 is possible to plug the file and attack the bishop um, and trap the rook. But knight c5 hangs the knight so don't do that. Wait, knight c5, knight takes, knight takes d7, knight takes f3. Looks okay. This looks sharp, but um, I think I'm fine at the end of this. So this intermezzo, um, this is an intermezzo, this is an inner intermezzo, and then I take back and I'm still forking his queen and rook. Um, but since he didn't fall for that, I still have a good position. And I don't know what to do. Let's take the bishop. This decoys the rook off, of, or deflects the rook off of the back rank. Um, so I think everything's defended. Um, I still have a bishop for a knight, 
which is useful due to the shot on h7 if he gets greedy. If he's not greedy, I'm still attacking stuff. So um, let's hit that. And now we hit the back rank. Um, and this seems to be the moment to cash in. Why now? Because um, I'm not sure. It just seems like if there were a tactic, it would be here. Rook b4. Come on. Yes! There we go. I get to show awesome tactics. Oh, he's got to be so impressed by that. Okay. Uh, sorry, I couldn't help it. Alright, so... Now what? That's my flashy tactic of the day. Queen a8, I just take the pawn. Um, Alright, this stops work to c4. Oh, it does allow rook d4 though. Um, but I can win the rook for a knight. And I'm doing okay. I think if rook d2, I might have queen c7. Alright, so we'll do this the hard way. Is there going to be... Okay, there's the concession. About damn time. <laughs> yeah. Ready. That rook b4 tactic. Man. Crops up every time. There's some uh, compositions based on that particular tactic. Alright, so... Um, huh. Now I think the deal here, I'm not sure, which is really bad, but I think this is playable. But I'm really scared too, because now I've walked into a line and I don't know it. Um, I think the line is a3, Check. takes, takes. I'm threatening stuff on d6, and um, I'm not sure where we go next. I think this is a sacrifice, though. Like, not just something I made up, but I think this is okay. Um, And even if I did just make it up and it's not an official opening, um, it seems decent. Check. Check. I expect g6. Um, and now there's no castling move. <sighs> so, point if queen a5... Uh, queen g7 threatens knight d6 and threatens the rook on h8. Um, so he's got to do something to guard his 7th rank. But um, such attempts don't seem to work to me. They don't seem to me to work. And he's got no checks. Oh, right. I forgot. There's that possibility. Um... This still seems good. So if knight takes knight, I'm threatening to take the rook. Like if I play knight d6 and he takes here, I take their check. Um, so I'm not sure how he proceeds. For rook f8, I can just take on f8. 
Um, check. So let's check. C three is covered. I think I just schooled my opponent in an opening, accidentally. Um, either that or got supremely lucky. One way or the other, it's pretty nice for me. Uh, seems like a good square. Let's do that square. I mean, Rook G8 was as good a try as anything there, but um, yeah, no, I think I played that well. Ready. Ready. All right. Okay, we got a Berlin. The exciting Berlin. All right, so if he's going to play that kind of stuff... Oh, wait. I thought this is okay for black. Um, it probably is fine, but it's just not very appetizing because black's down a pawn. Knight a4, I just moved my bishop. Alright, well, we'll make an indirect threat against this knight. Uh, see what he does about it. Okay. A cowardly retreating move. No, that's fine. It's, it's reasonable. Uh, it does allow me to threaten nonsense but um, nonsense probably doesn't work. Okay, so we'll make a hole. Um, and, oh, wait, I can't do knight h5 here. I could, but it's unwise. I could take h3, which seems ridiculous. Um, uh, yeah, I messed up. I forgot that h5 is exposed after a move like knight e5, uh, which he plays anyway, and I dodge, and he's probably going to play g4, um, though that looks risky, it's, it really isn't. Alright, so I have to go back, knight h5, I saw some tactic that crushed it, oh g4. And then I have to go back to g7. So we're going to go to h7 to g5. Um, I misspoke. Knight h5, g4, knight g7. That's what I meant to say. Um, Alright. Protect everything. It's probably going to do queen f4. I have to do g5. Still a mess and a half for black, but... That's something. But that prevents my knight from going to the desirable g5 square. Um, I don't like this. I'm getting driven in some direction that I should not be going. Oh, if only that queen were trapped. That would simplify everything here. It's not. So, I said like if in the next hour from two and a half hours I was able to crack 150th place, I'd consider a shot at this, uh, trying to win a trophy. Um, I'm actually kind of close to that. Here, take my A-pawn. I don't want it. You shouldn't want it either. Check. Uh, okay. Oh, he's got knight c6. That's complicated. Check. Yeah, so... Take that. Uh, I guess go here.
Sundown. Um, well, bishop for knight is pretty equal, but I'm down two pawns. Um, threatening the knight and threatening b2, so this is technically a double attack, though not a very standard one. All right, I have no compulsion to take the knight, um, so we'll just take the pawn. All right, so now I have a greater compulsion to start taking stuff. Um, because otherwise my active pieces get removed from the board. Um, Uh, f5 doesn't do anything, so yeah, unfortunately once he plays rook b1, I'm forced to capture, and then b6 to keep the half-open file opposed. Um, uh, I'm still down a pawn, so peace activity is important. h5 might have been interesting. Okay, so we'll just keep active. He does c4 here. Well, c4, I've got knight e5. It's not so simple. Um, as long as I don't push my f pawn, Check. I have stuff I can try. Oh, I walked into a fork. Fancy that. Um, well, I guess I have to go this way. Hmm, yeah, I don't have anything. I mean, I guess I had a5 and rook a4 and b5 and... But my position collapses and he promotes there pretty quickly. Ready. So yeah, we, I played for an hour. I can't crack 150th. I really have no shot whatsoever realistically at a trophy. Uh, so I'm just going to play until I get bored, and then we'll pull, switch to something else. Man, this is one quiet Grunfeld. Usually with the Grunfeld, white plays for much more. Um, but, you know, we'll take this and put this into, like, Slav territory and um, now threaten various other things. Um, knight d7 doesn't work. Okay, I guess I have to go this way. All right, he doubles my pawns. Congratulations, beginner zero one two. You have found your way into an end game, which is perhaps an unwise move. So if I do rook c8, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes, bishop takes, I'm fine. If he takes my pawn, I sack the exchange just to win it back. Um, and then I'm able to liquidate the a pawns, and we get a draw pretty easily. Um, 
At least that's the theory. Whether that holds in practice will be seen in practice. Um, Check. Oh wow, I didn't see that would be um, trading stuff. Um, okay. I'm pretty exposed in this position, not gonna lie. So question is, do I get zugzwonged? Answer is probably um, well, I have to play f6 here, and then I can dance back and forth. Uh, so, we'll see if he finds a way to make progress. Interesting. If I play g5, I get wrecked. So I have to leave it here. This is forced. Um, okay, I guess I'm giving up my f pawn. F4 is a bit hasty, I think. King b4. No, king b4 is like the one thing I can't do here. So if I'm going to try to make this tricky, I have to try this. Check. Check. Uh, and then we take here. And I think that's a draw. Let's offer a draw. Not that he even has to accept that, but it's pretty clear what my intent is here. He doesn't have any way to improve upon it. It is a draw. So that's me drawing like an 1800 who plays really well. People play really well toward the end of a tournament because those who don't drop out um, so you're stuck with everybody who's like on a hot streak, who knows exactly how to play the game and knows what they're doing. And that's invigorating in one sense, but just completely exhausting um, if you're trying to win. Um, okay, let's go back. I suppose it's probably better for um, people who... Um, want experience, um, who generally know what they're doing and aren't calculating as much as I am. Whereas I'm just basically looking at everything because I don't know how to filter my search effectively without dropping all my rating points. Um, Alright, so we stop knight c5, which is the scariest threat here. I missed, yeah, I'm playing against a 2160, so I probably shouldn't be talking while playing. Um, 
Furthermore, giving a, a pawn in the opening with a positional concession is pretty much suicide at this level. Um, so I can't play for fun lines anymore. I just have to play accurate moves. And hope that my opponents mess up. No, nope, bishop b7. I didn't see that until after I moved. Um, rook c8. Oh, okay, so I have to go this way. If pawn takes knight, I have bishop takes knight. Um, otherwise, this is just bad. But uh, I suspect he moves the knight or defends the knight or something, and then, yeah, I have to move my knight. Um, I've got one square. And so now I've got rook d7. Um, The problem with like bishop takes knight if he plays knight here is that I don't have another bishop to continue taking on that square. Like if I had dozens of bishops all in this diagonal that would be fantastic but in chess you don't get such an armada. Um, you just have the one attacker that you start with. So do I do knight g5 or do I do bishop takes e5? Bishop e5, rook e8, looks and smells like doom um, of the worst variety, so we're gonna try this. This might also lose, but it'll lose with style. Check. Check. Okay, I have to retreat. If I go forward, he's got bishop. Oh, that stings. Okay, well, this is no good. This is me just getting rolled off the board uh, by a very experienced opponent. Hmm. Alright, so I have to try to destroy one of these barriers to get my pieces back into the game. Um. So this is the other barrier. We'll try to take that down. It's on my side of the board, so the fact that I can't get rid of it is kind of a major embarrassment. Um, oh, he's got bishop f8. So I have to just, like sack material to get through this. Um, he's threatening knight c2 check. Um... Whatever. We're giving up material now. Because we don't know what we're doing. Check. Check. Uh, so I'm down in exchange and I have no attacking prospects. But I've got a pin. That's like the only thing I've got in this position, is if he takes my bishop. Uh, the knight's pinned. But even that doesn't work out so well. Um, yeah, this position is the suck. Let's just move on to the next game, shall we? So it's for reasons like that that I, I can't get a trophy. There's too many qualified people here. But we can still have some fun playing some games. It's just if I really want a trophy, I've got to study. And that takes a lot of time and effort. Um, bishop b6. Castle. And then rook e8. 
uh, maybe even knight h5. One thing you could do is knight a4, although that doesn't work so well here. Um, Let's just develop another piece and ignore a lot of things that are going on here. If he plays bishop e3, I've got knight g4. Uh, I didn't expect that, but now d4 is kind of loose. Um, what's going to follow is this, and then uh, do I play rook e8 or knight h5? Rook e8 seems more logical. d5 takes, takes. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. So we'll play rook e8. He's going to play h3. They all play h3 here. It's a decent move. Uh, although it might not work here. You might have to play e5. e5, d5, pawn takes, pawn takes, pawn takes, rook takes, I'm okay. Um, yeah, I don't see what he's doing. Probably queen d3. Just bring up another piece to defend this pawn. All these decisions do add up over time, though. Um, and you have to play each one of them correctly. I'm surprised. Why is he not moving? Okay, there it is. Um... Do I have tactics? Not enough. Um, so I was considering knight a5 here, but my position is kind of loose too. I want to take this before things fall apart, and then try to liquidate some of this, and then maybe once uh, this bishop's off the board, then play knight h5 and queen h4. Note if d5, I take here check and then I take the bishop. Uh, my knight can run away safely. Or I guess the move order could be inverted too because the knight on c c4 would defend b6. Um, and if you were to do queen takes knight, I could take e3 check. So it all works. Um, but the way that exchanges the most pieces, well, actually they both exchange everything. So I'm wrong yet again. Um, all right, so let's pursue some kind of nonsense here. The plan, I guess, is queen h4, rook e6, rook g6, and stuff. Um, but I'm delaying rook e6 on account of this bishop. Once the bishop moves, who knows? Um, it's not moving though, let's be real. It's not interested in moving that bishop. I expect bishop f2, getting the bishop off of this file, uh, for better or for worse. Um, All right, 
right, so the threat is to exchange and then play d5. So we exchange, we play d5, and the point is that having played rook d8, this is not just a free pawn, but it means that e3 is loose. Um, so here we go. And we keep going. And how far do we go down this rabbit hole? Um, yes, he's threatening to take G or H, whatever square that is. You know what I mean. Um, oh, hang on. I'm just hanging my bishop. Um. What a mess. All right, how do I make something of this? That was a good practical decision, if a bad chess move. Okay, I guess I'm playing this and giving up my bishop. He doesn't want my bishop. Um, Victory. Nice! <laughs> I didn't think bishop c7 was going to be so confusing there. I thought he had something planned. That's a really tough position to hold. Um, Ready. Oops, let's take that. Okay. Wow, this is much more relaxing than the last game. Um, okay, this is a free move. He does bishop b3, but still good for uh, black. Um, Check. I mean, how could you not enjoy this position? I'm sure my opponent will find a way to make it less fun. Um, he's got the bishop pair. That's like his plus here. Um, So he moved the rook off of this pawn. Oh, right. Um, well, this is going to get pretty explosive. Um, I have to play g6. Well, that sucks. Or I could sack an exchange. Um... Let's play this. Let's see what we provoke. He doesn't have enough to destroy me just yet, so we'll continue playing with fire. Alright, if bishop takes, I can no longer sack an exchange, but here I don't need to. Um, If 
if h3, I can take on b2 here. No, that doesn't work. Um, it's fortunate that this pawn is here. Just saying. <laughs> Um, if bishop c1, rook takes, bishop takes, yeah, who knows. We end up in an interesting situation. I guess we'll never know because he didn't go that way. Um, how do I develop? Uh, I'm really severely cramped. Um, okay, if queen e4, I have g6. And though I'm cramped, I'm still fighting. Bishop a3. I guess I... I don't know what I do. But he played the obvious move, so we're okay. Uh, so now I get to play some obvious moves. So c2 is loose. I don't even want the pawn. I just want to get my pieces on two good squares. Uh, that does defend um, c4, which was my biggest target here. Um, I see what he's intending. He's intending rook takes and then queen takes h5. I don't want to see that. Alright, so just as a way to get my rook into this damn position, uh, we're lifting it. Threatening both rook eb8 and rook takes uh, c4. All right, so rook eb8 it is. Um, I guess c3 is forced, otherwise he loses material. But c3 does trap his bishop. Okay, so we're attacking a2 now. Uh, all my stuff is still defended. You could play c4. Uh, that would defend a2 also. So it makes sense on multiple levels. But is he going to find c4? Who knows. Um, this is what we call a... Oh, crap. I shouldn't have been insulting him. And rook takes queen. I was going to say, this is what we call a one-track mind with queen h6. Um, but no, it actually had a second threat. So we'll seal the bishop in, see how far we get. Odds are not too far. But we'll try. Um...
Oh, I see. Um, this is pretty hard to stop. Uh, okay. What a mess. Check. 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 Yeah, my opponent spots it. Um. Check. There was no getting out of that. Check. Check. I tried. Couldn't. Yeah, no, I completely missed that he was hanging the queen. Like I explained, I missed that. Um, taking the queen would have been better than hanging the rook. Uh, I was just too distracted insulting him. Because uh, I was just annoyed that game. And I don't have any right to be annoyed, because it's anybody's game. Um, and if I play that way, I get the result I deserve. Check. So, yeah. Um, I could have played that better. Could have played that a lot better. But, I don't know, the heckling is... I don't want to say it's part of what I'm doing. But I'm trying to entertain an audience and play a game. And um, part of that entertainment section is not going so well, on account of the other part not going so well. Um, so, we'll see what I can do. Oh, I guess I have started on the final hour of the tournament. I said this is longer than I intended to play, um, but I didn't want to rage quit on that particular game. So I guess we'll see what place I take overall. It's not going to be a top 100, not even close. Um, but I made an attempt. Um... So here's the big idea. Okay, he sees it like a thousand miles away. So here we reinforce the idea. Um, and he's got some ideas too that involve this. Um, so chess is a game between two players. Both players get to um, try some ideas. So once he puts his rook here and his queen there, um, I think at that point I push c3. Um, here we go. Yes, this does. Actually, no, this doesn't lose a pawn. I calculated this like three times, and each time I calculated that it loses a pawn, and it doesn't. Um, so each time I miscalculated that. Uh, not that you should ever calculate something multiple times like that, even if you're not feeling confident about it. Um, you should learn to calculate better and trust in your calculations. Um, but 
sometimes I just spin my wheels just checking and double checking and triple checking a line. Um, which is not a thing you should be doing, but also it doesn't seem to improve the accuracy of those calculations either. Uh, okay. Um, so if you're not taking my pawn, I'm taking yours. And big threat is right there. Um, how's he deal with this? I guess he's threatening queen e3. Um, in addition to just simply queen d4. Queen e3. I'm so confused. Well, I don't know how, but he managed to confuse me badly enough to convince me to play such cowardly stuff. Um, Check. Okay, how do I make progress here? Incredible, but it's so tricky given the multitude of attackers I have right there. Um, so, yeah, this route seems to be the best route. Um, I think he has to play f6 or f5, and I can just take e6. Um, Check. 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 So yeah, b6 is a weakness. Um, it's difficult to protect though. And his king is firewalled off from this position, so... Amazing that with level material, I'm possessing, possessing such an initiative. But apparently I am. Um, so if he gets his king to attack this pawn, then my bishop just go, goes back to defend it. Um, all right, so we've complicated this considerably. Check. Thankfully for me, this falls with check. Incredible. Why would he not um, move his king to e4? Did I, was there some tactic I missed? I guess it doesn't matter. Because um, he has that anyway. I just don't understand why he wouldn't go with the straightforward approach. So he's going to move a bishop. Um, I attack his e pawn. I get this with check. Um, 
Check. Also, incredibly, this endgame seems to be winning. It's complicated, but I think I've got it. Yeah, I think the king racing off in that direction is a huge blunder. He needs the king on the queen side to hold this. Um, well, no. If he can make a fortress, he's okay. Um, so back this way. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, I'll take that. Um, oh, right, he found the fortress here. Um, I screwed up. Wait, no, I still... This isn't good enough. Um, this is not good enough. Hmm... This is kind of a problem. Yeah, okay, I can't win this, can I? Check. Interesting. I guess I don't have anything there. Fine. You get a draw. We'll just agree to it. It's a draw. Yeah, he needed his king on the queen side, and he eventually found the key idea. Ready. Um, I held on for that two minutes longer than I should have. But my opponent really wanted the draw and wasn't going to resign just because, um, uh, well, just to keep the tournament moving. Um, I could have, like, held his standing in the tournament hostage in a sense um, by refusing to um, agree to a draw. That just hurts both of us. Okay, so I think I'm losing a deep one. Let's go back. Um, hmm, interesting. Okay, we'll take that. Oh, he takes here? No, he doesn't. Um, we'll 
complicate this slightly, but there's really nothing to be had here. Right, you take a file, I take a file. Pretty sure that's a song or something. Um, you take the high road, I'll take the low road. And I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Um, all right, let's exchange here. Um, oh, I don't have a shot. Damn it. That would have been really cool if there were a shot there. Even mixing up the move order doesn't seem to do very much. So we'll lift the back rank stuff. That's not happening. Um, okay, if knight c3, I've got rook c1. And my rook is defended. So, nonsense attacks don't go anywhere. Um, so this is a pin. Um, things could get dangerous here, but I think I'm pretty well prepared for whatever might break out. Famous last words, right? Okay, so my bishop pair are finally moving to squares that aren't on edges of the board. Um, I guess this can be considered progress. Oh, this also unpins his knight. Uh, that's his point. Um, I'm not seeing a useful attack. All right, so we'll take some territory. He's going to play something like knight d5. So um, by playing a4, now I can play bishop c4. A5 is probably too aggressive, it's probably overextending, but it's difficult for him to take advantage of that. Um, I think in whatever he does to try to 
uh, collect that pawn, I'm going to get some counterplay. Assuming he goes after the pawn, and maybe he won't. Um, another thing I do want to find time for is king h1. I just don't know if I can find time to do it. Um, see, now I don't want to do king h1 anymore. Um, Alright, into an endgame we go. So rook takes, probably pawn takes. But no, queen takes is the most alluring option, so that's what my opponent selects. Um, and now we've got a decent endgame. Something I should be able to hold. Um, but it's kind of a pain in the butt. Um, So I've got one square on the board where I can hold both pawns. Um, the fact that there's only a single square is pretty scary. Wait, um, I have to take. And the reason I have to take is so I can get some kind of initiative going here. And the reason I need the initiative is because my queen side is effed. Um, Not sure he understood the gravity of that particular queenside position, but uh, he's up two pawns, meaning this is going to be really difficult to hold. If it's tenable. If it's not tenable, it's going to be even harder. Um, Can we see b5? That's not b5. This is looking particularly bad. Um, Check. Probably don't need to narrate that. Check. Okay, we'll concede that. That's fine. So, maybe I can finish top 200. I seem to be tilting really hard at the moment. Um, but I'm not that great of a player compared to many of the people in this event. And they're a lot more dedicated to getting the trophy than I am. Ready. So...
Mm. We've made it 10 moves, but I think we have to go 15 for a draw to count for a point or something. Um. Well, he's not interested in a draw anyway. Here, let's line up like that, then like this. Very clever. Very clever. I uh, gotta admit, I didn't uh, foresee that he was gonna leave. Um, well, I don't know. Didn't foresee a lot of that. Hmm, he missed queen h7. Must be human. Um, anybody still playing at this point is probably human. Uh. Oh, that's no good. Yolo. Oh wow. Am I seriously Check. that screwed here that he can get away with that? Check. Probably. I mean, there's no reason for him to allow this, but that he can get away with it is pretty impressive. Um.
Check. 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 Now, where's my check? I should have something devastating here. I don't, so we're going to go with that. Check. And then pick up the C pawn. In some small way, this makes up for a game I lost against a 2000, where I had a very similar position in much less time. Check. Check. Victory. Victory. All right, so we won a game. Um, oh, these games are still interesting, so I'm still playing. Oh, the Llama Lord's playing, okay. although he just lost. That's unfortunate. At least I think that's what putting his name in red there means. Um, I hope he wins a trophy. If not, do it does much better, honestly. So hit this. So my threat is this. Um, my ulterior motive is to play e6, which is just painful to black. Um, So I've got bishop d2 if he checks me, but um, yeah, e6 is loose. He's got tripled center pawns. Um, all right, fine. We'll play for an end game. I don't know what it is about some people, but they believe that if they can just get into an end game, no matter what the end game is, that they'll be fine. And that's certainly not the case against um, somebody who studies endgames. But also he might just get mated in the middle game. If queen takes, I've got queen h or queen g6 mate. Um, Victory. Okay, yeah, I've got queen c8 mate in some positions there. He's in 49th. Oh, he's playing Lance. Uh, Lance seems to be uh, slightly better. Ready. Ready. Check. Check. This is all book. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Pawn takes e6 is not book. Pawn takes e6 is very much not book. Um, and I'm probably losing because I deviated from the book. Um, hmm. Then again, book is pretty crummy for white, if black knows it, all of it, which apparently this opponent did. Um,
It's possible that what I played might have improved on book. I will have to investigate that possibility after the event. Because if so, this line might be playable. Uh, it might not just be garbage. Oh my goodness, that was a free pawn. Well, now he plays g4. Or doesn't. Um... Apparently, I can't form a mating threat with this queen in the center. Um, so I have to find some other way through. This is one imposing position. Um, the thing I've got in the back of my mind in all of this is bishop g2. Um, just if I need one more piece. But now I've also got bishop c8. This is amazing, uh, by the way. Um, this is not your typical position in this opening. So if queen e7, I've got rook a1. Um, hopefully it works. Because there is no plan b here. So brutish.
Check. 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 There we go. That's how you beat a 2080. But he was taking lots of risks that game. Ready. Um, yeah, I need to learn better openings too. If I'm going to try to win these events. Oh. I don't know this at all, so I'm screwed. Um... So bishop d5 I've seen before. Um, I've actually been in this opening before, and it's not pleasant. I still haven't learned it. Maybe this time experience will be a teacher. Yeah, I'm not sure where to go with any of my pieces here. Um. Maybe this opens a line somewhere that's useful. Probably not, but maybe. Well, there goes my pawn, because he just plays rook c1. Um, wait, I've got knight takes knight. Knight takes knight was a lot stronger than what I did. Just because I'm being silly, we're going to do this. Um, the stops at 4. This definitely stops at 4. Um, I know this is a safer way uh, to play this position. Alright, a4, I do bishop b4. And so I've managed to get something out of this. 
what I've gotten, I'm not sure, but it's something. Oops, I just hung a palm with check. Oh uh, dear. Well, that's game. That's game and the tournament right there. Um, that's too bad. Um, well, so he might not take a5. He might take c7. You might actually be paying better attention than I'm paying. I kind of dozed off a minute or two ago. Um, I guess the good news is that um, chess seems to be a cure for insomnia. <laughs> it seems like any position can put you to sleep um, against a sufficiently, I don't know, simple-minded opponent. Somebody who's going for just one idea at a time, and you can see their idea a thousand miles away. Um, I guess having one idea is better than having no ideas, so I shouldn't be too critical. Um, it just... It surprises me that people could play a game in such a way. Um... and still enjoy it as a game. All right, so let's not hang the rook. And Attack. also, oh, okay. I'll go with that. You don't have to ask me twice. Um, That worked okay. He's got quite a bit of initiative here. It's actually really difficult to stop on what he's doing. But I also can get initiative. Check. Um, so I get to collect both check. of these with check. This is check. check. This is check. check. This is check. check. Oh, actually, this isn't check to collect the bishop, but um. check. check. I can't lose this unless I'm reckless. Check. 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 I'm getting reckless here though because I want to push for a win. In this position where I might not have one. Check. 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 And that's how you win. Check. Check.
That was tricky. That was tricky for sure. Ready. Ready. We're going to Grunfeld this, not because that's a bright idea, but because it gets us an interesting position. Um, is this not a Grunfeld with 10e6? I could have sworn it was. And yet my opponent took a second to move there, so that makes me concerned. Um, Looks like a Grunfeld to me. Not the best Grunfeld, but a Grunfeld. There aren't even any traps I can set here. That's unfortunate. Ah, sigh. Like I want to set some back rank mate trap thing, but he's got bishop f a or bishop f one in every line where the trap almost works. So, um, yeah, there's no trap here. There's just me holding on to a half-open D file. Um, all right, can we get him to play A4? That'd be a nice concession. Yeah, there's A4. There's no reason to play A4. If we do take this to an endgame, that just makes it slightly more difficult for him. Oh, he's got um, C1 covered. That's kind of a problem. It's kind of a huge problem, but I've got d7 covered. If he pushes d7, it's lost. Um, if he doesn't, I'm not sure what he does. So we'll defend this, attack that, indirectly threaten d6 <laughs> that's quite indirect um, um all right bring it show me what you got if you're going to play a retreating move you better have something planned when i advance um, okay so I take this. And now like everything is a landmine. If I play queen c5 check, um, check. he's got to walk into the corner like king h2. Um, Check. 
check. And he's still getting mated here. So yeah, that's the Grunfeld in a nutshell. Reversals of fortune are common. Check. 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 All right, we'll play this out. I have no challenge with playing this out to checkmate. Check. Check. Victory. Ready. Ready. Going, Going berserk. berserk. Going berserk. Going berserk. Going berserk. It only makes sense, given uh, what time we are in the tournament. Looks like this might be the last game of the event. Uh, let's try to make it count. Aye, aye, aye. This is not good. Check. Check. This game has gone completely out of control. Completely out of control. Uh, okay. Knight e7 was better. Um, well, we get to play knight e7 after all. go. Tournament pairings are now closed. 127th place. Now the only reason I took so high is because um, in the last half hour players who are in the 150th upward who aren't anywhere close to the 100 barrier do drop out. So even though it looks like I came close to 100th place, like if they'd said in advance that there were 150 trophies, then uh, there's no way. Um, I would have taken like 150 first. If there were 200 trophies, I would have taken 200 first. You get the idea. But it's still a fun event to play. Well done, Lance. Let's check out Lance's trophy collection. Yep, he broke it again. Well done. All those marathons. 
all these other trophies for being the top player all around. And he does coaching, and he's a patron. He supports the website, uh, at least the maintenance of the site. Um, so, yeah. That's an interesting event. Like everybody else, unfortunately, I'm going to log off now. So, hope it was fun. Thanks for watching. See you next time.